and then all of a sudden you're like crazy nervous. You're like, oh my gosh, how am I going to do this? And then you're like drop in, cruising down, and all that just goes away, and you're just like, you, I'm doing this. I've been snowboarding for 10 odd years now and I hope I'm snowboarding for 10, 20 more. The scenery from when you start and when you finish, everything has been just completely indescribable. And the mountain range is, is incredible. It gives you like shivers when you fly over it. Like someone shot a heap of adrenaline into your blood or something. I mean, coming around the corner and seeing things that you've only dreamt of in front of you and then telling you that's where you get to compete, is, that's everyone's dream. I am psyched to be, be a part of this, you know, this, this whole experience. The contest event focused on the rider. You know, that was your top priority. So I love being a, a part of events that are like that because there's not that many left anymore. A great mixture of being in the mountains with 90 something of your friends with three, four helis. You know, it's, couldn't dream this stuff up. <laughs> Definitely interesting going from lake level where there's no snow, you know, fairly warm and you hop in this magical dragonfly that takes you to the top of something that's, you know, a free ride venue that'll blow your mind. Something that, you know, we all dream of doing and you see in the movies, you know, so it's, uh, it's one of those things. It's, it's a special and a surreal feeling at, at the same time and it really, uh, I don't know, it makes your stomach go to your throat and it really, uh, it builds the excitement of the event. and and what we gotta do and how we gotta do it to come out safe at the end of the day. Everything's happening, people are flying around. We're in a big mountain zone and people are going for it and it is so easy to lose your shit. People are sending it out there. I really like the idea of being able to incorporate freestyle with the backcountry. I think it's like a, it shows the public and the viewers like, you know, talented athletes. Because a lot of people can ride the park and the pipe. I think a good snowboarder and skier is someone who can adapt well when in the backcountry. That's good, eh? The zone was amazing. It was cool location, epic backdrop. Lots of rolly terrain that was definitely shroudable. I was with some good mates, you know, Will, Jake was there, Benny Bright, so it was kind of turned it into a day of just shredding with the boys. Like stand up and go from hip to hip. There's lots of, you know, crazy worm turns and slide on noodles, whatever, slashes. Pull out your whole quiver. All time, like getting dropped at the top of a peak with just you and a couple of your buddies with a massive open powder field below you, no one else around, and just shredding down, shuckering each other, you know? That's all time. Bit, just coming back, that part was crazy. Climbed really high and then just tipped it over and like was charging at the ground. I was just stomach drop. <laughs> it was so scary, dude. I think everyone who snowboards 
loves to go surfing. And everyone who skates loves to go surfing. I think surfing is the roots of it all and everything just progressed from there. You know, the people are the same that do it. Everyone's there for the same vibe and they all complement each other, I reckon. Well, Wednesday we drove up the west coast and went surfing with the surfing legend Aki. Probably the coldest water I might have ever surfed in, maybe, but <laughs> we'll see how we go. Come on now, you can put it to the front, you can put it to the back, you can put it from side to side, relax. Take a breather, take a minute, take a break, take your time, take all you need. Take two takes, you can do what you wanna, drink all the Corona, boil up the Corona, talk on the marijuana. You can do whatever tickles your fancy, girl, me and you can feel like Sid and Nancy. Evil like an evil and you watch me, but I do not expect you to copy me. I'll be a company, but just for a bit. Then be a company, just while I spit I'm great company, and my company's legit I ain't in it to be the shit I don't bother with this and that, son I stick to the point and I ride at a bass star like Boom, boom, that's my taste, son You hear it and you straight, but you feel off your face, huh? Yeah, I knew it, but I don't show until it's time to flow it like a poet Oh, until I face on Wow! One of the nicest backdrops I've ever surfed in around the world Look at it Yeah, judging a run from the bottom that's 3,000 vertical feet, you, know, you can't see that far up. So everything is going to be different on scale because it really puts you, no matter what it is, in perspective. Whether it's your riding, your life, what you believe in, that is the beauty of free riding is it's an open space to express you. Well, it looks like it's going to have to be Mount Albert for sure. I mean, that's just too good to pass up. I've seen the terrain up at Mount Albert a few times, but I've never actually been able to ride it. So to go up there the other day was a real highlight. I was just blown away just by the, the natural terrain that's up there. There's like shoots and spines and rocks. It really just opened my eyes to what, how much good stuff we have in our backyard here. And... The snow was awesome up top. It was just blower like what you see in the movies. It was like a pow day ripping a big line. Adrenaline is like the drug, bro. Gets me up in the morning, makes me, I like scaring myself every day, eh, is what makes, I think, you feel alive. Whew.
have a baby, get a dog, <laughs> all that other stuff, you know.